iOS 14 is looking real good right about now. So Apple just finished their keynote. They revealed some new things about iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, Apple TV OS, and Watch OS. But in this video, I'm gonna be focusing on things that were announced about iOS. Starting with what I think is my favorite feature, widgets. I bounce back and forth between iOS and Android, and when I do, that is one thing that I miss when I get on my iPhone. So now with iOS 14, you're gonna have resizable widgets on your home screen. You can move them where you want. Right now, it's just really available in your today view, but now we can have a little bit more interaction on our home screen, just a little bit more customization. I use my widgets here and there right now, but with them on my home screen, I truly feel I'm gonna be using them a lot more. But a new feature that Apple did bring with widgets is something known as Smart Stack. So that's gonna allow you to have a widget on your home screen that will change throughout the day and give you like information that I think is like important to you at that specific time or that it feels might be important to you. Now, the next thing that I'm really excited about is messages. So now we can pin conversations. That way you no longer have to like search through all the conversation threads. You can pin the ones that you want the quickest access to, to the top of your screen. I like this cause it's gonna let me prioritize the conversations that I want the easiest access to. Group messages. Now we can change the little icon that's used for the group message. So you can customize it to be a certain picture and then everyone's contact photo that's in the conversation will surround that picture. Another thing that you're gonna find that's new is that within a group message, when you're replying to someone, you can actually reply to their specific message and it'll collapse or expand the replies within there, which of course now means we can have mentions. So before we might've played around and put, you know, at and then the person's name, but now you can actually mention people. And another perk of that is that you can set it so that you get notifications only when you are mentioned within the conversation. Also within your group messages, whoever is the last person to respond, their image will appear next to the group contact photo. Theory also got a facelift, so no longer will it dominate your entire screen. It's now gonna appear in the bottom corner. It's gonna be like a little pop-up menu of info that you can interact with. The call screen is also updated, so it should appear as like a banner that's dismissible when you're actually interacting with your phone. That way it won't take over your entire screen if you're in the middle of doing something. And I assume if you're not using your phone, it's gonna take up your entire screen as it has been. But that way it's a little less obtrusive when you're in the middle of something and someone's calling you. Instead of sitting there kind of staring at your phone as the call comes through or hitting decline, you can still continue with what you're doing. Also with iOS 14, you'll find that you're gonna have an app library, which is, I guess, now, I don't wanna go as far as to say it's like Android's app drawer, but in ways it's like it. This is gonna give you apps that are curated into folders based upon their category. This was designed for those of us that have a ton of apps on our phone and tend to forget which ones we have installed and never make it past the first two pages of apps. There's a search bar in here as well, so you can search for apps. There's also now going to be on-device translation. So when you're talking with someone that speaks a different language, you have an actual dedicated app that's gonna allow you to use it to have a split screen view of what they're saying and what you're saying, translated so that you can understand each other. We also now have more emoji customization options. Now Maps, it got an update and it has some really cool features. I personally use Google Maps uh, just because I had some reliability issues with Apple Maps, and every time the update Apple Maps, I give it a try to see if it's enough to make me switch. And thus far, it really hasn't been, but maybe, maybe this time's the one. So now within Maps, you have cycling options. That way cyclists can get a more customized experience so they can know areas that might be busy, or if there's some stairs on their route that they need to be prepared for. There's also EV options, so if you drive an electric vehicle and you kinda wanna know where you can charge up at, and if a charge is needed along the way, it's gonna put you in touch with a actual charging station that's compatible with your vehicle. There's also a feature known as Guides that's gonna give you restaurant recommendations or sites to visit for a specific area that you're in, which is great especially for when you're visiting new cities and you're not sure what to get into. Something else that I'm really looking forward to testing out with iOS 14 is CarPlay. So now you can customize your wallpaper. I'm not sure if you can customize it to be like a personal image or if it's just a set of predefined wallpapers, but nonetheless, you can customize the wallpaper. Apple is now also introducing digital keys. So this is gonna allow you to basically unlock your car with your phone by pressing your phone up against the car door. But the car compatibility might be the one thing that we have to wait a little bit on, as it currently will only be offered on the new 2021 BMW 5 Series, as that car will be the first vehicle to support this feature. So basically how it's gonna work is you're gonna tap your phone up against the car handle, it's gonna use NFC to unlock it, 
And then once you're in the car, you just place your phone on the charging pad and then push to start. Now the advantage of something like this is that you'll then have the option to create digital car keys for other people, which can be a more secure, easier, and cost efficient way to share car keys without having to actually give someone a physical car key because you'll be able to grant and revoke access when you want. And on top of that, you can even set options in terms of how much access the person has in the vehicle using the digital key. Now I'm curious to know what this will look like in actual usage in terms of what you can revoke or grant access to. So I guess time will tell on that. Now app clips, that's another feature with iOS 14. This is gonna let you get like a preview of an application without having to fully download and install the app, which is great for different scenarios. Like if you're out and you wanna rent a scooter, you don't have to download the full app for that one moment. You can just get the app clip of it and use it in the moment for the moment. I almost forgot picture and picture. This is gonna actually let you have a little video playing in the corner of your screen that can be resizable, you know, with the little pinch to zoom action. And if you swipe it off the screen, it'll just play the audio or you can swipe it back on so you can see the video. It just makes me feel so much more productive and just kind of further closes that gap of, you know, features that you lose when you move from Android to iOS. Now I was tweeting, you know, during the keynote. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, definitely should. Tech me out is the name, T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. But I did want to know features that you all are most excited about. So let's see what people are saying. So Slick said, for me, the widgets mixed in with the apps and the picture in picture on the Apple TV and seeing your security cameras if someone rings the doorbell. The one feature that we didn't talk about in reference to what they're speaking of, that's gonna be found in the Home app so that within the Home app, you can actually see like an image preview of what your security camera is seeing. And on top of that, it's also gonna have facial recognition. So say for instance, you know, my brother knocks on the door. Not only can I see it within the Home app on my phone, but I can see it on my iPad and my Apple TV and my HomePod will not only announce that someone's at my door, but who's at my door. All right, Jay Miller. He said Mac OS Big Sur, although that name though, God, yes. Like they were building up to the announcement of that name. So when they said Mac OS Big Sur, yeah, I, I guess I expected a little bit more. Donald Long Jr. said, will Apple hardware be coming this week or is that a no-go till fall? I'm glad you said that because that is one thing I forgot to mention. iOS 14 will be coming to devices in the fall. However, you can download the beta for iOS 14 today. And I think watch OS beta can be downloaded, I wanna say next month. Don't quote me, but feel free to correct me down below in the comments. <laughs> So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you were excited about from Apple's announcements today, whether that's something related to iOS or any of the other things that they made mentions of. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.